Entering a trade can be a complex process. People look at a lot of different factors when they're deciding whether or not they should get into the market or out of the market. They may look at different bar lengths, different time frames, different types of charts, and different types of indicators. They may even have a different feeling in their gut from moment to moment telling them whether or not they should buy or sell. The KCZ Entry System, or KEYS for short, simplifies this process. KEYS looks at a lot of different factors in the background and then distills all of those into color code bar permissions and color code long and short signals on the chart as L's and S's. KEYS does this in five steps. It starts by looking at a majority of momentum. What this means is Keys is actually looking at three different momentum indicators in the background and deciding to whether or not those momentum indicators are permissioned long or permissioned short. If the majority are permissioned long, then you'll get a long permission on the bar. If the majority are short, you'll get a short permission on the bar. From that point, Keys looks at a longer bar length filter. What this means is in the background, Keys is building a synthetic time frame to see whether or not that longer bar length is permissioned in the same direction or in the opposite direction of the majority of the momentum indicators. The reason this is important is think about if you're looking at a daily chart and you get a buy signal, but a weekly chart gives you a buy signal as well at the same time you're going to have a lot more confidence in taking that trade because the longer term trend is confirming the direction of your entry. However, if the weekly signal was short and your daily signal was long, you may be more cautious about entering the trade or you may avoid buying that market altogether for some time. The third step that Keys takes is it looks to see whether or not bars are closing in the direction of the signal. For instance, if the bar is permissioned long, you want to see the bar close higher. You want to see it close above its open versus a down bar or a short permission bar. You want that bar to close down. Keys also looks at a built-in swing indicator called case swing that looks at various swing points and highs and lows to determine whether or not a pullback has taken place. This is another important concept that we'll get into here in just a little bit but ties into the way that keys plot signals on the chart. And finally, based upon the signals that are being plotted, keys also identifies warning signals and confirmed signals. The difference being a warning signal might be something that is giving an indication that you may want to start to think about getting into the trade in a certain direction or into the market in a certain direction versus a confirmed signal, whereas it is, it is telling you that that is a strong signal uh, to get in long or get in short. This is what Keys looks like in action. This is a chart of Apple. You'll notice the different color-coded dots on the bars. It's obvious that the blue colored dots are permissioned long and the red or magenta colored dots are permissioned short. There are various periods of time where there are L's for long or buy signals and S's for short or sell signals. In step one, the keys indicator decides whether or not a bar should be permissioned long or short. If it's permissioned long, it's going to get a shade of blue on the bar. If it is permissioned short, it will get a shade of red or pink on the bar. Keys classifies its bars and its signals into first and second class. First class bars and first class signals are signals that are permissioned in a certain direction on the momentum indicators as well as the longer bar length. So in steps one and two, when Keys is looking at the majority of momentum and the higher time frame filter, if everything is permissioned long, then you will get a dark blue dot and possibly a dark blue L indicating that is a first class long signal. However, if everything's permissioned short, including the higher time frame filter, then the bar will be pink or magenta in color, and the signal will, the S, will also possibly be a magenta colored, indicating that that is a first class short signal. Second class signals take place when the majority of momentum is in one direction, but then the higher time frame filter is in the opposite direction. Here, circled in red, is a second class short signal. 
this signal is red because the majority of momentum at that point was permission short, but the higher time frame filter was still permission long. On the right side, circled in green, the dark cyan color indicates or signifies a second class long where the majority of momentum was permissioned long, but the higher time frame filter was still short. These signals are slightly weaker than the first class signals because the higher time frame filter is not yet permissioned in the same direction as the underlying momentum. However, these signals are great clues to letting us know as traders when the market's going through a transitory period. As you can see here, we go from the first class long signals, the dark blue, into the second class short, the red, which then transitions into the first class short, the pink, and then back into the dark or second class short, which are the dark cyan color. You will also notice that the size of the dot on the bar varies. This takes place due to the check that Keys does to make sure that the bar is closing in the direction of the signal. For instance, when a bar closes down on a short permission bar, the dot will be bigger. However, when the bar closes up on a short permission bar, the dot is smaller. The bars that have the larger dots are qualified to be entry bars. You'll notice that the L's and the S's are only drawn on the bars with the larger dots. Not every single bar that has a large dot gets an L or an S. These bars are permission for entries and it's very important to note that they can be used for an entry at any given time. You do not have to have an L on the bar to enter a trade. The L or the S is shown after a respective swing low or swing high. You'll notice that the only time that there's an L on the chart is when it was preceded by a swing low. This swing indicator is actually built into keys and is a standalone indicator in the case statware package. The only time that the S's are shown is after a swing high. The idea here is that after swing highs and swing lows, we've had tests of support and resistance, and therefore the swings that take place or the, the signals that take place afterwards are confirmed entries. So that plays into the idea of the warning signals versus the confirmed signals. You'll notice from time to time that the L's or, and the S's will be either a light blue or an orange color. The light blue L's are the warning long signals. These could be second class or first class signals. The idea here though is that this is the first signal in a potential trend. So as the market in this case is coming down out of a declining market and starting to rise, it generates a warning signal, the light blue L on the left side of the screen marked as a warning. At that point, if the trader wants to be aggressive, they can get long. However, if they want to be more conservative, is to wait for a pullback that holds the previous low. And then as the market starts to rise again and the trend starts to mature, when the second long signal, now this is a first class signal, first class L, because it's the darker blue, but it is our confirmed signal after a pullback. That's where the trader would enter long. You'll notice on the far right side of the chart, it's not labeled, but there is a warning short signal shown in orange, a small pullback the pullback is identified by case swing internally. And then a second signal that is the pink S. Now that second signal is a first class signal, but it is the confirmed short entry. And so at that point, the trader would take the short trade. Another little example here on the left side of the screen, we get the warning short signal shown in orange, a small pullback that holds the previous swing high, and then a second short signal, the confirmed short signal shown in pink, that's where a trader would enter short. Later, a warning long signal forms at the bottom of this move, 
when there's the light blue L or the cyan colored L. A pullback to the downside takes place that holds the previous swing low. And upon the confirmed first class long signal, the blue L, the darker blue L, that's where a trader would get long. Now you can see here, this is a good example as to why we don't take the first signals or the warning signals. As the market proceeded to move up and the there was a small down move, this warning signal, warning short, was just a warning. The market ends up rising to new highs, giving us new long signals a few bars later. So if a trader would have taken a short trade here, they would have, it would have been a bad trade. They would have lost money on that trade and eventually would have likely been stopped out of that trade. So the Case Easy Entry System is a very simple indicator that looks at a lot of complex factors in the background. Multiple momentum indicators, a higher time frame filter, directional bar closes, swings, warning signals, and confirmed signals. And it distills all of this down into a very simplified color-coded system that's easy to use and is, makes it easy for traders to make entry decisions. For more information about keys and the other case statware indicators, please visit either casestatware.com or casego.com where there's lots of educational information and resources. You can always contact us too, ask case at casego.com or call us directly at 505-237-1600. Thank you.